Hello and welcome back to Sonic Forces with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Puggy. So we are taking the fight to seemingly uh, Dr. Eggman here. Um, so yeah, we have already learned about the Phantom Ruby, and uh, indeed, um, where we want to go now is to the capital city with the rookie, because we are going to take the fight to Eggman. And uh, apparently, Knuckles has a big plan here. And um, it's not a good one. Let's just put it this way. Also, I've, I've, put, I've got back the best we spent the... Unfortunately, I missed the thing, but never mind. I've got back the best Wispin, in my opinion, which, of course, is the uh, first Wispin. So, yeah, I thought it would be better here anyway with uh, with how it's set up. So, yeah, and the easy red ring there, seriously. So, yes, most of this stage will be fought with the uh, rookie and everything. Now, um... <laughs> Listen to what happens later, and also the rookie does not have an ability to dodge an infinite. He's here as well. Yep, he's here, and he's using the Phantom Ruby power to actually warp reality. Seriously, that is the thing. Yeah, we go from being gung ho to being well, whatever. But anyway, here's the um, 2D part with the thing, and. Um, this is weird. Well, we'll get to that because um, Infinite chases us throughout this level using the Phantom Ruby's powers, um, as I say. And no between this and Mania. Um, in Mania, Eggman used the Phantom Ruby to warp reality, yes, but he also created the hard boiled heavies out of just some uh, things. Here, it's just some like cyber powers that um, Infinite has. Seriously, uh, keep that in mind for it whenever I do Sonic Frontiers because um, there is a similar looking character in that game who has similar powers to Infinite, but um, handled much better. Um, so that being said, yeah. And we have a grinding section. And yes, the rookie can grind. Um, and seemingly... Okay, that actually looks cool. Even as a giant, like, kaiju monster. I, I would like that, actually. I would honestly like that. But, um, no, that's as far as we go with Infinite. Seriously, because he's just such a one-note villain, as I've mentioned. Um, granted, he... He does have the the brilliant voice of Liam O'Brien, as I've mentioned as well. Seriously. Liam O'Brien is wasted in this game in terms of his... No, in terms of his voice acting. No, his voice acting is actually pretty good. But yeah, after that, we just see the rookie go towards the goal. And that's the end of the level. Seriously, you couldn't do more with Infinite? Seriously? I mean, yeah, um... He's in this game, I'll, I'll give him that, but yeah. Uh, we will somewhat get a boss fight with him, with the rookie in a moment, but yeah, what the hell, man? More ants to crush. I wonder if this world can offer me a real challenge. And as if to answer, the world sends me a trembling child. I'm going to fight and die. Run away in fear again. Hey, don't be scared. This is your moment to shine. Keep going. Don't let your fear own you. Fine. I will teach you fear, then pain. And then, well, at least the fear and pain will end. You can't say the word die there, Infinite. You're literally voiced by Gara for crying out loud. He has a... Seriously, two of his attacks of Gara's moves in Naruto are, are Desert Burial and Desert Coffin. Seriously. Anyway, going, going back to Infinite, basically he will send up a wild called the Cyber Energy. That's the only thing I can call it, really, at the beginning of the fight. And then do, I guess, a homing attack, and then you can homing attack him in return. Seriously, I do like this fight a lot better than the one with uh, Sonic, at least. I'll give it that, but 
Uh, yeah, this isn't great. Seriously. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, other than that, uh, yeah, the Phantom Ruby is kind of underused in this game. Somewhat, compared to Mania, at least. Because even though it forms the whole premise of forces, but yeah. Uh, the other thing of note is that if, um, if you allow him, um, Infinite can uh, create these giant cylinders and whatnot. And yeah, um, it, it, it can hurt if you're not careful. And seemingly brings out the cylinders even in reality here, so yeah. Seemingly you cannot use your Wispen to damage him. And then when he's at like half HP, he will um, go fully berserk and bring out the... Um, the eggpawns, okay. Um, the whole cylinder thing with with the Phantom Ruby energy only works if you touch it. Sadly, um, because I'm using the... Or, or if you allow his homie attack to hit you. Seriously. What could have been, folks? Seriously, but uh, never mind. And we'll even get a segment a bit later, actually, in the game. Uh, with both Sonic and the Rookie, in which I thought could have been used a lot better, but we'll get to that. Seriously. Uh, but never mind that. The infinite boss fight is just like the first one, somewhat a literal joke, I dare say. And with the rookie, it's very hard. Certainly with the one I have, I suppose if you get another one that can do a double jump, I believe it's the bird. Um, it might be a bit easier, but I chose the cat because I wanted the parallels with the blaze and everything. Oh, I jokingly called a Blaze's sister earlier in the Let's Play, so why the hell not? Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, Infinite's a joke. Damn shame, as I say, given the voice by Yara, but never mind. And yeah, it's a good thing I did bring the, um, um dare I say, the, um, Please, well, no, 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 burst whispered uh, to this fight because that does help deal with the great egg pawns at least coming out of the woodwork so to speak makes quick work of them as opposed to say something like the uh, lightning whispered which um, would have just had uh, the rookie just charge forward and everything so, so that would have been a waste of time there but yeah consider this a failure of leadership even hear um, a voice clip from Knuckles, which I believe is exclusive to, to the English version, in that it says almost half of the fighters have died. Seriously? That is actually a thing in this game. So yeah, Knuckles is not a great leader. Then again, he can't um, protect the Master Emeralds, so never mind. survived then, but you throw it all away now. Kids, this will be goodbye. What? How is this possible? It can't be. How did you... No matter. They have only two days left. Let them contemplate the inevitable until I end this once and for all.